When we are trying to cross a busy road, what we will do? We will first look on the right hand side, we will look on the left hand side and then only we will move forward, right? Because when you are crossing the road, you can meet with an accident. So you have to look both sides. Same way, when you are planning to do a degree, you have to do both sides. You have to see both sides of the coin, okay? So I have always spoken a lot about the positive aspects of doing PhD. Let's talk about the dark side or the negative aspects of doing a PhD. Now the first problem or the situation which you will face is it's a time sink. Five to eight years of your most productive youth time goes into PhD at a low salary which is 33,500 rupees per month. So while your peers will be enjoying a better salary, 33,000 might seem less to you for five years with no hike. Okay. Now next thing will be many times we have seen PhDs are not industry aligned. I'm not saying all of them but some of them yes. So you know you should not just do PhD, you have to get into industry aligned skill set development also. Okay. The third will be the postdoc trap. So you know when you did BSc, somebody said you should do, do MSc. When you did MSc, you know somebody said do PhD. When you did PhD, now somebody says do postdoc. Never ends, right? No, it should end, right? Most of the PhDs go for a postdoc thinking that that's the next logical move. It's not. Get into the industry and become a scientist. That's the next logical move, not postdoc. Just because you didn't get a scientist job doesn't mean you should go for a postdoc. You should do a postdoc only when you're interested, right? Then the next part will be mental health toll. It's huge, okay? Sadly, nobody talks about it. People really fall sick. They have burnouts. They become sick of their project guides or their colleagues or the system or the organization. And see, this stress leads to a lot of burnout, a lot of mental health issues. So you have to keep in mind that also can happen. Now, followed by that, you should also remember the delayed gratification or financial independence because you are in the marriageable age, but you can't get married, especially for males or even for females, because the money which you're getting is not sufficient to support your family. So do your PhD only if you're passionate about it. If you're passionate about research, if you really want to become something, your family is ready to back you up or so long while you are away and not on enough and for you the research matters more than uh, the time okay so you know yes after PhD you get a lot of good jobs it's not that you will not get but again don't get trapped into the postdoc trap and if you, even if you do PhD please do it through CSINN because if you are self-funding it you are bleeding more right so these are the pointers which I had for you today let me know in the comment section which one resonated with you and which one you would like to add all the best